extremely low. Wow. It's a very muddy road. I just want to show you um, about 50% of the road in. Notice the multiple pullovers because it's a single lane road. <laughs> so people are coming at you sometime. Is that that spot we parked at one time? I was just going to say that. <laughs> Did we walk in there? Yeah. 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 And, and, and we couldn't go very far either because there was a water. So far enough in here though, eh? Yep. Oh yeah, during the summer you have to pull over a lot because everybody comes out the same way they go in and like I said it's a single lane road. That's why I wanted to show you most of it. So, and it is, you know, kind of muddy and a little bumpy, so don't come in here with a little cracker box car. I don't know, you might get stuck, but maybe not. Wow, well, I can see the lighthouse at the Peninsula Point. Oh, this is a parking lot. It ain't very big either. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to find a place to park in the summer, I want to say. I've only been here maybe twice before. The lighthouse is neat. It used to be twice this size. Oop. <laughs> Little camera shake there, sorry. The stairs are like cast iron, very ornate. I'll show you the stairs, which I can't go up. Very neat -o. This water is, wow, very low. That, where the arrow was, that is the old water line where the water used to be up to. You can kind of tell the difference in the color. So yeah, this is pretty shocking. Probably right where that tree root is, that's where the water would come up to. And, uh, real crunchy. There's all kinds of, oh my gosh, it's a gas pod no way it is wow I am totally blown away right now I don't think I ever found one of these before let's see what's on the other side look at that some more shelling or something who is that look at all the brachial pods encased in the mud well fossilized in the mud I should say I have no idea what this is. Wow. There's another really cool <laughs> fossil of some sort. That's amazing. And of course, wow, I don't know. I think this right here is Brachiopod again. That's pretty cool. Oh, I tried putting this black glove on. My hands were wet. <laughs> it would go on. <laughs> I just kept trying to pull it on. Here's another brachiopod. Really, really cool. Here I am trying to pick up stuff with a half on glove. I really wanted to wear the black ones because they're warmer and waterproof. More brachiopods. So cool. But yeah, the gloves have to go and I'll be putting the blue ones back on I guess. I don't know what happened to the other ones. This is cool. It like steps up and I'm going to go up up and up, up these little steps. I am actually walking on the old ancient seabed right now, which is really amazing because this used to be an ocean. The sea at one time. Look at all the brachiopods on the old ancient ocean floor. That is so cool. Wow, they're just everywhere out here. Mm, so neat. It is so neat. I <laughs> just think it's awesome. But anyway, oh, the water is pretty. The clouds are pretty. What a nice day to be out here. Here we got some more little pieces of brachiopod fossilized and probably limestone and mud. Very cool. Let's see what else I can find. Oh, look at this. This is like a whole bunch of layers whole bunch of layers of mud, fossils, limestone, you name it. It's really neat. Wow. 
There's probably all kinds of neat stuff in there. If you had like a chisel or something. And we got more brachiopod. Wow, really cool. It's really neat if you're into fossils. <laughs> I don't know. I find it fascinating. Oh my gosh. There's a beautiful one, you guys. Look at that. Wow. That is a perfect one. I love that thing. It's too bad I won't keep nothing here. Wow. It's perfect. I really love that one. There's some more. Wow. I'm just blown away. Not as good as the last one, but it's pretty good. Here we got some more um, fossilized in some dirt, mud, whatever you want to call it. Very cool, but this one definitely is better than the one I just threw. That's really cool. It's so peaceful out here today. Oh, that shell. I missed that shell when I was picking up this which is branching that's pretty cool that is a fossil itself and I'm gonna go see what's up this way mm, it looks like rain I'm hoping not more brachiopods wow there's just they're just everywhere they're just littered out here it's pretty cool I mean I'm, there's not tons but <laughs> there's quite a few it's pretty cool to see them all. I'm going to work my way back that way. Oh, this is pretty neat looking right here. I like this. There's like a little trail in here, you guys. Ooh, it's cold. Maybe a trail, maybe not. When the water was high, we tore a lot of these trees apart. Mm. Oh, we got to kind of dunk. Dunk to get under them. Oh, and then you come out over here, I guess. Which is what you had to do when the water was high. But as you can see, you don't have to do that anymore. <sighs> Look at all the snow left right there. Yeah, it's still winter. That snow just came not too long ago. I don't know what they got here. I know what we got. We got three, about three, four inches. Wow, look at that island. Oh my gosh, I remember when that was all underwater. <gasps> if I had my boots on, I could walk out to that little island. Well, this is clearly a piece of shell of some sort. I can't really tell what this is, but it's pretty cool. Definitely some kind of shell. <laughs> what else is here? Right here, you can see where the water was. I mean, this is, wow, extremely low. Back at my home, it's low too, but not this low. This is really low. We got another brachiopod. Boy, oh boy, they're just... There's a lot here. To me, what's strange is that there is, like, no regular rocks here. I'm just like, wow, it's just all fossils. I'm almost all brachiopods and pieces of limestone. There just is no other rock. I Here we go, brachiopod again. I just haven't found anything for rock rocks, you know, like jasper or calcidian. Just, just fossils. Which is cool if you're into fossils. Oh my gosh, I found another amazing brachiopod. Wow, that's a pretty nice one, too. I really like that one. Not as good as that one I found kind of hidden. But it's pretty close. Pretty awesome stuff. I 
I gotta say, it's a really cool place, but I think I'm gonna leave now. It's I've been here quite a while, and it's been a real, real lot of fun. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you about the monarchs. The monarchs, if you come here like late August, early September, you can see the uh, monarchs migrate. They all come here, thousands of them. They will migrate to Mexico when the leaves on the hardwood change color. Well, thanks for watching. Bye now.